Nope. Uh-uh. Nope. Uh, no way. Uh, uh, I ain't dealing with it. Nope. It is basically what nope is. Um, welcome everybody to my review of nope. Now I know it's late because the movie came out like what the twenty second of last month, and it's almost a month in. But busy life, so hey, just not getting into it. But. Nope, for all intents and purposes, is that is that because I was and going into this, I, I was saying how people thought it was like an acronym for a non-human, an uh, extraterrestrial, or whatever. It was like something about alien not on Earth or something like that, or but it's actually just he just wanted to get, he just wanted to see how crazy he could make the situation, and um. To where you just be like, to where either like how black people would be just be like, nope, not doing that, nope, or anybody for that matter just be like, nope, mm -mm. uh, uh, and and he does achieve that. There are situations in the movies when he where they're just like, nope. But before I dive dive into it, let me set up the scene. Let me give you a synopsis. I always like to give you a synopsis so you know what the movie's about before I talk about it. It says two siblings running a horse ranch in California discover something wonderful and sinister in the skies above, while the owner of an adjacent theme park tries to profit from the mysteries, otherworld or mystery, mysterious, otherworldly uh, phenomenon. So that person is a. Uh, we got Kiki Par uh, Palmer and uh, Daniel who play M and OJ, brother and sister. You got, uh, oh man, what is it? You got a, a side character named Angel and the theme park guy. I, ca okay, I gotta find his name real quick. Just because I because they don't I don't have his name pulled up. Everybody's name was right there. Uh, Juke. Yeah, that's his name. That was his, his name is Ricky, but he he goes by the you know they call him Juke throughout the movie. So, nope. In a sense, it's a I think it says like a comedy horror. Is it? Is that what it says? A comedy horror. I feel like that's what it is. I just want to make sure before saying that. Oh no, it's a science fiction horror film. Okay, but it didn't feel like that. It, it felt like it was a comedy. It did feel like it, it, at points it did feel like science fiction, but at, but at certain times it just felt like it was a comedy horror. But I guess that's what you get when you have you know a comedian making horror movies. It's going to be some comedy in it, right? But um, yeah, for it was a it's a good movie. Like. I had my reservations about it, but going into it, I was just like, you know what? This is actually a good movie. Um, it just, it takes a while. So, that's like, to get a, a negative out the way, it does take, it, I give it that it does take a while for it to get to the suspense and horror part of it. But it does, I, it, 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 it does set a tone, like... The movie, the the beginning of the movie sets the tone for what's going to be right. They uh, they give you a little Bible. He give you a little Bible verse, and then he sets the tone. You know, we get we introduced to a character that we will find uh, find out later on was his kid self, and an incident that happened while this character was on a kid. He was a kid, a child actor that was on a TV show, and a horrific event took place, and. And the way he structured the um, he structures the movie, they're like in chapters, like there are there are parts broken in chapters that focus specifically on a person, and, and specifically on that on on a character. Not every character, not it, it doesn't go like that for everybody in the movie, but it does. He does have points where it's like, okay, this is clearly a chapter that's go. This part of the movie is going to focus on this person or this guy or this thing, you know. And that would that's what comes into play why it takes a minute for it to 
get to it because we got there's so much things he got to flesh out. Um, Juke, OJ, M, they get they do get their chapters to flesh them out. Um, the ranches, the ranches, not you find out that how and you see this in the trailer, basically how they get control of the ranch. You know, out they show you the trailer what happens to their father. Um, but the, it's the mystery behind why it happened and how it happened. And slowly throughout the movie, they begin to figure out why things happen, why the electrical, why the electrical system uh, seems to fail uh, out of nowhere. And it, it's not like it, they really, you know, it's not like it just shuts off, Phil. It, it's like something drains of his energy or the energy, or, you know, the energy just doesn't work. And, and you find and you and you see that he I like that that he beautifully illustrates when the power goes out and when the power goes out you'll see in the movie that's you'll see like in early on it doesn't make sense but when you get to like the middle and the end and when they when you when they t tell you why it's happening you like then when you think about the the beginning parts of the movie when nobody knew not even you knew it's like oh shit. Oh shit! So that's what was happening. That's what that means. So, it the movie is good. Um, I I don't want really, really want to get into the nitty. I don't want to break down the whole movie, but I like the visuals. I like the I like the acting from Kiki Palmer and Daniel. Um, the dude, the guy who plays Angel, he's a he's good. Um. There are some like several fake out scenes um, when it comes to it. Obviously, by now you guys know that it's it's it's, a, it's like an alien presence. But if, you, if for some of you who still haven't seen the movie yet, it is it the is not exactly what you think. It though, it, I, and that's the part I like about it is that when you when you first see what's going on and what you think is going on, what you think you're seeing. And then it turned out to be something else. And then it's like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. I'm like, that's a good, that's a little, that's a good little subterfuge. But, um, yeah, the movie is good. I mean, I can't, the only, I can't really find anything bad about it except for pacing. Um, and the, and the fact, the pacing and the fact that it was like, for a sci-fi horror movie, it was kind of comedy, and you will see what I mean if you haven't seen the movie. And when you go see, it, you'll see what I mean because like there are parts, and these are big parts in the movie where it's like, but you kind of, plus it's you're a sci-fi horror. That's yeah, it, it it almost seemed like it wasn't even a horror film at at points because I I remember knowing it was supposed to be some type of horror, and I'm like, this doesn't even seem like a horror film. But other than the pace in the horror and the fact that it takes a long time to get to the horror part, and the the fact that it doesn't seem like I combine those two, like the fact that it doesn't seem like it, and the fact that it takes a long time, that's part of like the same thing. Um, but other than those two negatives, everything else is good. Um. Is it as good as Get Out or um, Get Out and the other movie? Um, uh, I forgot what his other movie was. I got the movie though, uh, but it's not. It's not his third outing compared to his other two movies. This is definitely in the place in third. Like it's not better than the first two um, movies, um, but it's definitely the third best. If that makes sense. But for my, I don't think, yeah, there's nothing else I can say about it. It's a good movie. I recommend if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's still a good watch. It's still a good time at the movies. You know, it's just, if you just, just know going into it, there's going to be a pacing issue. It's going to be, there's going to be times when you question whether this is a horror movie and why does it take so long for the horror parts to actually start? Because why are we still at the, why are we at a certain point in the movie and we still trying to build up suspense and, we still we're not getting to the lot of a killing, you know. For a horror movie, there, that's another thing too. For a horror movie, there wasn't a lot of killing. I mean, it, it was, but they was done. It was done like the way the once you figure out how the way the killing happens, it's like oh well, 
kind of takes away from the fact that you just do it in this particular fashion. But I'm going to give this movie a 8 out of 10. Because I uh, big ups because I still enjoy watching it. I still have fun, and it will. It is a movie I would buy. It, it, it was. It it just that like I said, like it just it throws you off by how long it takes to get to the hor the actual horror part. But once it gets there, once it gets to that part, it is definitely good. But you let me know in the comments I'll go what you thought. If you already seen the movie, don't spoil it in the comments. But let me know without spoiling it how what you thought. And if you enjoyed this video. We hit this button right there in the upper right corner for all of my reviews. And if you enjoyed this video so much, you want to support your channel, all you got to do is hit those buttons. And as always, hit any one of these videos for more amazing content. But don't go anywhere because I got She-Hulk and Dragon Ball Super Superheroes coming your way. Peace.